What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass and today I'm giving you five baits, five finesse baits for sight fishing that you guys must try. You know, Matt just did an awesome in-depth sight fishing video last video, but today my top five finesse baits to put more fish in the net for you guys this spring sight fishing season. All right guys, it is springtime and it is one of my favorite times of the year. You know, Matt just did an awesome in-depth sight fishing video. If you guys haven't checked that out, you need to go watch that. He covered everything from baits to glasses to location to clothing. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll put a link to it right up here. Make sure you guys go watch that. But today, five finesse baits that you guys really need to check out to put those big fish in the net. You know, the, if I could only emphasize one thing about sight fishing, every fish has a different personality. Matt and I, we've, see, we've got to interact and, and watch, observe a lot of fish underwater and see how they react to baits. And uh, what I can say is that every fish has a different temperament, a different personality. I've had 12 inch spots in smallmouth eat the biggest or try and eat some of the biggest glide baits and swim baits. And I've had 10, 11, 12 pound largemouth shy away from the smallest finesse baits. So that is where you as the angler have to take in and observe, take in everything you're seeing, everything you're watching and adjust your bait choice, adjust your technique for each specific fish. So number one, Matt covered the, the dark sleeper in his last video. This guy right here, you know, this is a one ounce bait. It's about a three and a half inch bait. Great bait. But today we're talking about downsizing. We're talking about finesse fishing. I, I want to show you guys this bait right here. This is quickly becoming my number one finesse swim bait when I'm sight fishing. This little guy, two and a half inches. It's got a good stout hook in it so you can stick big fish with it. This guy right here is a must have. It's got a really tight kick. The tail is a really quick, quick paddle tail and the fish just react to it. You know, I like to go more of the natural presentation, the natural colors. You could see this one right here. This is a Wagasaki color. This is made to mimic little gobies or bluegill, you know, predatory fish that come in and affect the bass in their bedding environment. But this guy right here, again, real tight kick, real short, stout hook on it. You can throw this on finesse rods, light line, and really get those big finicky fish to commit to this bait right here. Again, every fish is different. If you guys are sight fishing and you tie on a drop shot, you tie on a, a chartreuse and white bait, or you tie on a, a methylate bait, you know, all those bright colors, and you flip that out there to a fish that's cruising or on bed, on a bed, and it swims over and eats it, awesome. But not every fish is like that, and not most fish. You know, here on Clear, we get a lot of lot of pressure. So those big fish, the big fish that we're targeting often see those very uh, visible baits and they just don't commit. You know, those whites, chartreuses, methylates, morning dawns, all those bright colors, it seems a lot of the bigger fish just kind of shy away and they tend more to react or commit to natural colors. The next bait that I want to talk to you guys about, and Matt covered it, Matt covered it a little bit in his video, but I want to talk about this bait right here. This is the new, the TRD Craw. This is on a traditional Ned head. This is actually a quarter ounce head. This is their HD hook, a little stouter hook. I also like the, the owner hook. Uh, again, all these products I will link down below in the video description, but this bait right here, this is green pumpkin. There's a couple great colors, natural colors, that when you back off, you, you give that fish some space, and you've already tried the jig, you've already tried the other traditional bed fishing baits, 
you back off and you fire this little guy up there and it falls slowly down it just sits there and these little tentacles are dancing they just have to come in and and inspect you know big bass they're intrigued by stuff like this they come in it's not overwhelming it's not intimidating they come in and then they get stung by that little hook right there they come in they just suck it up on light line and the fight is on but you can get those big fish to commit so my top two baits that this net this ned rig the trd craw and that uh, the the mega bass the dark sleeper are two of my favorite finesse baits for bed fishing the next three baits that i want to talk about are all three jigs but different types of jigs you know matt covered jigs a little bit in his video talked about being compact and and trimming the skirt and getting short short trailers so those fish don't come up and just short strike the, the bait and not get the hook again i'm going to elaborate a little bit on that and give you three key jigs i really think you need to try because they've improved my sight fishing all right the first jig i'm going to talk about is this guy right here this is a Kitek tungsten jig. This little guy right here weighs three eighths of an ounce. Very small profile, very compact. Again, I got that Ned, that TRD craw on there. Tungsten head, stout hook. Very small, very compact, very natural, not overdoing it. And this is a fish catcher couple benefits of this jig specifically why i really recommend this jig one the tungsten head you can get a smaller compact presentation with your normal heavy head size so half ounce three eighths quarter ounce and you're not going too big of a profile also the tungsten head it's a lot more dense than lead so when it, you're dragging it on the bottom you can hear it tick 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 it makes more sound and you get more feel with this bait right here than a traditional lead jig head but this guy right here this is the kitek tungsten jig again i'll link everything down below in the video description paired up with a trd craw this thing is a little stinger it's awesome all right the second jig that i want to talk about is the bass patrol jig again a compact jig that is has a, a, a stout hook, but overall a very small presentation. Again, the key to these fish, stay away, use lighter line, and give them a natural presentation. These big girls, they're smart. They didn't get big for you know just being stupid. So give them some space. Don't block their entrance and exits to the bed area. Back off and go with natural small baits. You've already tried the big baits, you're not having any luck. Now it's time to switch to a smaller natural profile. The reason I like this jig specifically, it's got a living rubber skirt, different than your traditional jig skirts. So it's a, a smaller presentation, but in the water, it puffs up and gets a lot more movement than a traditional jig skirt. So when you fire that thing up there and you drag it in that that zone, and Matt talked about it, you find that spot on spot within that bed area that they're very defensive of. You get it in that strike zone and you let it sit there, that skirt just pulsates. Pair it up with your favorite TRD or your favorite Robo Ned Worm. I mean, you guys know how great the Ned rig is already. So now you have a compact jig with a Ned trailer, a living rubber skirt. This is another must have combination. Now the last jig that I want to talk about, uh, again, we're keeping everything small and compact. We're talking about this guy right here. This is the Luke Clausen Finesse Jig by Dirty Jigs. The benefit to this jig, when you are specifically targeting Grandes, the big bass, this is a compact jig, a finesse jig with a big stout hook on it. I have this paired up with a 3.5 Smalley Bieber, and you can see it's a fairly small, compact presentation. It's got the finesse skirt already trimmed into it with a bigger wide gap hook. You guys, these are my three must have jigs if you're gonna slow down and finesse fish for these fish. You know, again, 
your methylates, your bright pinks, your chartreuse, your whites. It's really easy on our eyes to see them, but it's not always the best bait or the best choice to put that big one in the net. So again, if you need to slow down, back away from the fish, give it some time, figure out that area that the male's defending and flip these small finesse baits. They don't get intimidated, they don't get overwhelmed and they sneak up, they bite it, you set the hook, game on you guys. Try these five baits this springtime. Sight fishing's not always bed fishing. If you have cruisers and you're up cruising the bank and you see a, a cruiser, fire one of these little finesse baits out there ahead of them, lead them, and you'll be surprised at what swimmers over and eats. You guys, finesse sight fishing, those baits right there are must haves. I have a ton of confidence in all these baits. That's why I'm recommending to you the, the Mega Bass, the Dark Sleeper, is an awesome little swim bait. That Ned, that TRD Craw, is just a must have small finesse bait. And you pair that up with those three jigs, money, guys. If you guys have any questions, please leave those down below in the comments section. If you guys learned something or like the video, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Matt and I are doing three videos a week for you. We appreciate you guys. Have a good day.